Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out the sixth most popular project in all games. That is Life of the Amazonia. Build your very own thriving jungle by discovering various wild animals, insects, and plants in this dot dot dot. And the first thing that drew me to this uh, main image when I saw it, when I was choosing what Kickstarters to do, were these wooden pieces. Now I must say, in this particular main image, it's kind of hard to see them zoomed out. And also, this main image doesn't really tell me much about the game. What are the mechanisms? What's the player count? The time link? The age? Crucial information. Information that is so important that we've all just decided it should be on the side of every single box ever for board games why don't we put it on the kickstarter page uh but yes it is a very interesting concept i'm excited to see the wooden maples and see what we got and it's already funded at forty thousand bucks plus it's from seoul south korea which is not typically where i think of as a hotbed uh of kickstarter board games so i'm excited to see what this one's bringing to the table it has exactly 500 backers kudos to that as always when we go in the video i'm thinking three things do i want it can you do it how much is it let's go the Amazon is the largest rainforest on Earth. Not only does it provide 20% of Earth's oxygen, but it is home to more than a tenth of the planet's flora and fauna. You have been called here to the Amazon to help further prosper Earth's treasures. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is going to be like an Everdell-style uh, 3D area. Like, that looks great. I think that needs to be on the main image. Looking at the main image, I think this would immediately spice it up if you gave me a better sense. Because, uh, yeah, you did focus. Because I don't think that was. Let me double-check that. Let me double-check that before I start running my mouth. But I didn't notice it. Yeah, that's not on there. I saw the little trees, the fold-up trees. I see those the fold-up trees all the time, though. So, yeah, I would put that on the main image. That looks cool. You got the islands, you got the cards out here, lots of wooden meeples. You got, it looks like you're going to be picking up these tiles. You got your little boats to keep track of things. Ooh, the, that is both. So I love this because it's thematic. You know, it looks like it would be in the jungle or whatever. It's useful because it has things printed on it. And it's useful because it holds the different tokens and coins and makes the play area nicer. That is fantastic. I love what I'm seeing here. Life of the Amazonia. Let's see the gameplay. Create your very own jungle by bringing in trees, flowers, and various animals. Lives in the Amazon possess their own unique ecological characteristics. It's important to create an optimal ecosystem where they will synergize with one another. Identify the characteristics of various animals and integrate them into the jungle harmoniously. Depending on your choices, your jungle can be the symbiosis of various animals thriving in harmony or the nesting place for specific animals to thrive. Gradually strengthen your resources. Discover the beauty in the scenes created by your jungle. The treasure trove to millions of animals and plants is waiting for your flourishing touch. Life of the Amazonia. Cool. Let's go, Battlehaven. All right, I think it looks okay. I, I want to know more about it. I want to know the mechanisms. I want to know. Um, I want to know the player count. I want to know the time link, the age, all that good stuff. But yeah, it looks interesting. It, it looks cool. We want to bring. You, I don't think it immediately like sold me on. Oh, I'm willing to play. You know, any price to get it. I don't think it wowed me that much. But it looks very interesting. We want to bring the dragons and fairy tales back in your life. We believe in witches, Santa Claus, and flying muscular men in tights. We value the fantasy and imagination that make people live fuller and in lives fuller and in happier. We've made it our mission to return the unicorns and Jesus. When, okay, you make games. Got it. <laughs> uh, so we got two people here, hopefully helping with the customer service. Four created, so we do have a track record. Wild Serengeti, Shaolulu, and then Shaolu Warring States. Shaolia. Uh, so is this one, I don't think this one is out yet. Because I think I remember doing a Kickstarter for this one. 11,000 comments. That is a lot of comments. That's scary. Beautiful set, but disappointing game. Overwhelmed by the many rules, it's hard to pick a strategy. Also, there's a lot of useless game elements. We played over 60 scene cards in one game. Uh, we always use a high sent email about three missing leopards in my game to bad comment, but I haven't heard anything back. Wonderful game, but sorry, I need a German translation. Um, okay, so no, that's just... They've gotten 11,000 comments. Wow, but this is out, right? 
Introduction to the new nature feed, fulfillment complete. So great. So people have gotten their stuff. Same with this one. Let's double check because that's the whole point of this. We're not... Uh, deliveries to U.S. have begun. That was in September of... So we don't have any updates since then. So yeah, it seems like that went smooth sailing as well. And if this is the, the original Kickstarter. So yeah, I feel comfortable with that on the can you do it will this game come to me yes i feel comfortable on that do i want it maybe how much is it we don't know yet let's keep going life of the amazonia there it is one to four players 60 to 150 wow and medium complexity i like the fact you're mentioning that english only all right build your own th and so now i know it's solo and i know it's medium weight I, and once again i think like that should have been on the main image that let you know one to four players 60 to 150 minutes you're immediately going to get some ears people some ears perked up and and with the game that is this complex i would like to know the mechanisms already uh meeple placing so it's worker placement it's weird you say meeple placing worker oh because that is because the meeples have their own unique features potentially uh that combines bag building and pattern building wow bag building meeple placement worker place whatever you want to call it that gets me excited i put that on the marquee build your very own thriving jungle by discovering various wild animals insects and yeah so that's great but i'd love to know the mechanisms there I absolutely love this game. Love looking at it. It just creates such an excellent table present. It's not just window dressing. This is an excellent game going on underneath as well. So I hate this quote. I hate this quote, uh, everything about it, because it's just superfluous. It's just like, I love the game. It looks cool. Great table presence. And it's a fun game. Like that's. But why? What does it do well? And once again, I'm not, not, pull, not trashing on Rondo here. He didn't put the quote here. They put the quote here. I love that this quote told me why they love the game. You know, not just that they love it. Create the most ecologically rich thing. Granite stuff. Place the animals. Cool. I'm just looking for the price here. The gameplay video. The solo gameplay video. I cannot think of another game that is both a bag building game and tile placing game in one. I really enjoy this so freaking much. It really works well together. There we go. That's the kind of quote I want right there. Bag building. Tile placement. I say to myself, do. What, what do? Do I remember any other ones like that? No, I don't feel like I've played too many games like that either, which gets me more excited about the game. Still have another price though. Solo mode. And then we have, oh, hey, is this the uh, is this a full solo hey. gameplay, I'm hoping? Or I could... It says preview, but it looks like a solo gameplay. Uh, for more information regarding the solo mode, please refer to page 18 to 21 of the rule booklet. This video is a preview based on our prototype. The finalized solo mode is projected to include nine different scenarios. That's cool. How to play. Is this actually a how to play? You perform that. Mini insect car... Because this says review on it. I, so, because I don't know, this is a very, uh, this is a very strategic game. As players will have many choices, and there are various setups to change these strategies that you'll find. Okay, so there's variability. Cool. Rule booklet, prototype, tabletop simulator, playthrough. I like this. I like this. This is a prototype. I would just keep. Like right now, I'm telling the publisher I lost it. Uh, um, okay. Ahoy, Mr. Mormo. Uh, I'm thinking. Of, and once again, yeah, I, I, it's just I like it. I like it. This is not the final version of the game. I like it so much, I'm going to keep it and lie and say that I, I lost it. Like, that's... <laughs> like, tell me why. Tell me why you like it. And once again, not putting that on Quackaloop, putting that on Killer Death Robot or whatever the name of the company is. Life of the Amazonia, it's very good. This is the two-player... Beautiful. Two-player gameplay. And thank you. That clearly lets me know. Two-player gameplay. I like that. I like how he does that. Or they do that. I don't know who necessarily is running that, because I know it's more than just uh, Jesse now. So 65 bucks. That's about what I'd expect to play the new MSRP for most games. It used to be 60 I feel like it's going to gradually bump up to 65 I don't have an issue with that. Granted, now we have to take shipping into consideration. But I will say, because this feels like a smaller company, I'm not as cognizant about oh why don't I just wait until retail you know with like a lot of companies they feel that way i don't feel that way about this company so giving them the benefit of the doubt 65 bucks one waterfall of life i would like to know uh how tall this actually is you know inches centimeters that'd be good uh we got the wooden pieces great looks fantastic awesome cards 16 cards 24 cards that's it oh no, no there's more cards cool 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 uh, 40 terrain tiles, 42 aquatic things, resource tokens, special terrains, vote token boxes, 34 scenery cards, so 36, so we got 70 cards there. And I do like the fact that they're spotlighting some of these cards so I can get a gist of what they are. Uh, we got these, can be for, stored in the box fully assembled. That's a great thing to mention right there, because that is always annoying when you have one of those games, you're like, ah, oh, crap, do I really have to disassemble and assemble this all the time? And especially with, uh, ooh, look at that player aid card, that looks robust, I'd like it, I'd love to see the other side though. 
That's a pretty shot. That is a beautiful shot right there. Okay, free for backers. Promo pack. Promo packers will be provided free of charge to our backers who pledge through Kickstarter. The promo pack will contain Kickstarter exclusive items that will not be available for purchase through any other channels. The promo pack will be created through our unlocks. Uh, one Harpy Eagle, so that's a wooden mini, and one unique animal card. Fantastic. So the 65 bucks, I am on board with that price right now. So hopefully we don't beat around the bush and we get to the shipping. Hopefully we didn't bury it all the way at the bottom, because it is. Oh, so there's add-ons. There's more stuff. Upgraded base components. Interesting. So I'm surprised to not see this as the deluxe level of that uh, it, it, instead of as an upgrade. Because it looks like, I do believe there's the one pledge level here. What is the macaw? Uh, no, 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 no. It is. Okay, so they, they just didn't have it listed as the pledge there. That's odd. That was a great box contact shot. Much agreed. Add-ons. So we got the base components. Upgraded resource tokens. So these are two separate things. So this is grand total of uh, fifty dollars if you want to upgrade it all the way to wooden tokens all right showing off the millimeters wooden waterfall of life oh this is if you want like a really fancy one 25 bucks okay card sleeves got it uh meeple set if you just want extra meeples to have meeples okay got it pledge levels oh so that wasn't actually the pledge levels you were introducing the price of the game i guess because now we're doing another pledge level section here i thought i was just about done with the shopping section you're like no no, no you haven't even started the shopping section that's just our mini shopping section to get you ready for the shopping section life the Arizona plus all unlock stretch goals 65 bucks once again as i already said i don't feel like that's an unreasonable price and i kind of like this image of the unlock stretch goals thing that's nifty i might change the color from the wood it kind of blends into the back but I still like that uh, the base game. So then we have the $99. This is a deluxe version of the game with the fancy, fancy upgraded components. And not for me, but I don't feel like it's a very unreasonable Kickstarter price. I, I, I don't feel like I was convinced based on what I've seen yet, but that's because I didn't sit through a video. I didn't actually sit there and read the rule booklet. So I feel like you could potentially get there. What is this? Wow. Introduction, components, cinch setup. That looks good. Looks like a rock solid setup. Looks like some solid rules there. Lots of pictures, illustrations, examples. That's what I like to see, though. That gets me excited about the game. 99 bucks. Oh, there's a Jaguar tier. And this is the fancy, fancy wooden tier. Okay. So that that is actually pretty clean and clear there once we got to this pledge level. You got the just the base game. You got the base game with the fancy components. And you got the base game with the extra super fancy components. Like it. Let's see what the most popular one is. We got 73 bucks. Uh, 73 backers at the base game. 13 backers at the retail pledge. Wow. That's a, that's a, that's a good number. 104 people sitting on the fence. Interesting. 156 people at the 99, and then 148 people at the Jaguar tier. Interesting. Okay. How much is this raised so far? 40,000. Okay. That's a, that's a good number. Uh, Kickstarter Funny Goal Reach, Shy Harpy Eagles, Meeple and Unique Animal Card. And the reason why I'm saying that is I'm thinking about all the things that we're starting to make now. Because um, we, we have two upgrade packs, we have the game, and it doesn't seem like it's too much yet. Just one thing I want to keep in my mind. Uh, Capybara, cool. And unique card. Those are fun, awesome stretch goals. This looks like a fun little stretch goal area. I like it. I feel like it's buried towards the bottom, but whatevs. Why Kickstarter? Life, it'll be offered 20% off, 25% off MSRP. Uh, Kickstarter back. Wow, really? That's okay. Seems like a lot. So this is going to be an $80 base game? That's six, like, at that point, I'm like, eh, I don't know about that one. Uh, I don't feel like the 25% feels like, okay. Uh, the promo pack will include Kickstarter exclusive items. The Kickstarter exclusive items will not be available for, pro, for purchase anywhere other than through this Kickstarter campaign. Really? So uh, you're not even giving yourself the wiggle room to say, and other future Kickstarter campaigns. You're just like this one. I get why they're doing that. But at the same time, I just don't feel like it's necessarily the greatest idea. And I would, I would point to like, or Leon's deluxified version and Tasty Minstrel Games. If you want to look into like why maybe that's not the best idea, um, though the remaining stock after Kickstarter fulfillment may be temporarily available for purchase through Bad Comet retail stores that have pledged to this Kickstarter campaign will also be allowed to sell copies. Uh, Kickstarter backers will be the first to receive their copies. But the thing is, this is also so far buried down here. Reviews. Uh, Shay's final thoughts. I'm drawn into it thematically and mechanically. This game absolutely hits for me. Once again, we're not focusing on anything, <laughs> like specifically the game. They're, they're just so, like some of the the quotes are just so superfluous. As you build your jungle, it takes on a life of its own. Beautiful game with an interesting mix of bad building, meeple placement, and strategic choices. Every game feels unique and engaging. Uh, life of so many is a game that looks cute but has a lot of depth and replayability. A fantastic combination. I just want the shipping. I mean, I'm just here for the shipping, honestly. I'm over this. 
Uh, cause are these all, are these just all previews or any of these actually like, uh, video, like gameplays? Yeah. These are just previews. Yeah. I'm just, just shipping, shipping me, please. Bad cut. Life of the Amazon emerges bag building and tile placement and make a bridge right. Yeah, I don't care. Shipping. Here we go. 16 bucks. So now I'm looking at a $81 game. Seems about what I expect to pay for a game like this on Kickstarter. Honestly, you know, it, it feels like this game could very easily have one print run ever. And so, yeah, I don't feel like it's terrible. I don't feel like it's a great Kickstarter price. But I don't feel like it's a bad texture price. Uh, so we got the taxes, we got the vats, all the good stuff, customs, pledge manager, images. Ooh, those are pretty. Next year around Christmas time, languages, find us, things, stuff, got it, lots of words. Okay, let's check out the FAQ updates, comments. No FAQ at all. All right, update. Funded in one hour. Thank you. 16 comments. That's nice. Hello, this is Bad Comments co founder, Hanny. Funded 57 minutes while I'm shaking. This is amazing. This is truly unbelievable. Thanks to everyone here. We succeeded in becoming fully funded in under an hour. I think I might need to spend a moment just to pinch myself to make sure this isn't a dream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't expect to reach this achievement so quickly. Uh, actually, about an hour Korean time. It's my birthday. The launch and successful funding of Life the Amazon is the biggest birthday present yet. It's been a year since our previous campaign, Wild Serengeti, concluded. I'm actually nervous and excited for what will be on the next few weeks. Uh, got it, got it, got it. We love everyone. All right. Like old times, I want to update this with a fun fact about the Amazon. So I'm going to guess the overwhelming majority of these are then just congratulations because I am, I'm rooting for Hani after reading that as well. Um, it's, it's, it's really, I will say that's a testament to what they're doing because when you're on your fourth Kickstarter campaign, I don't typically, I don't feel like you're as excited maybe potentially, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And this is coming from someone who has made a Kickstarter game. And I feel like on my next one, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting one. Either way, I like it. Some animals I'm considering seeing in this game. Uh, all right, that's for, I think you might need to sit down and take time. Did they ask a question? We truly really help nudging a friend, traverse the Amazon. We would love everyone to know we truly value our backers' feedback. The project is something we wish to create together. You've been with us before. Uh, God, God, God. Tell us about your experience, amazing animals you've seen there. So they are. They're asking a question to answer in the comics. Great. Because I was like, why are people responding there? And this is what I always say. If you ask people questions, they will generally respond, especially if they're into the game. Cool. Comment 73. Woot, two times funding. Click Pexel, activate. Cool. And let me check. When did this launch? This launched just yesterday. No, just today. Awesome. Very good. Very good. So 41000 bucks. Fully funded. Looks like it has some fun stretch goals. I think this should be moved definitely a little bit higher. So final grade on this one. Do I want it? Um, yeah, it looks like a fun game. It looks interesting. I still don't feel like I quite know what's going on, but that's just because I didn't take the time to really invest into it. I could have watched one of those videos. I could have read the rule booklet. They're there to access, but still, it's always nice when I'm done with the video and I'm like, oh, I have a feel for this game. And while I do have more of a feel for this game, thanks in part to some of the quotes that are buried in some other quotes that were not so fantastic, uh, I get it. The artwork is drop dead gorgeous. It looks fun. It looks like it's not quite an abstract strategy game. It looks like the theme is really there. Uh, medium weight. It has the solo mode there. Rule booklet looks solid. Overall, it looks like a very, very nice game. Uh, price is a bit steep for me for what we've got. I agree with that as well. I don't feel like this is a great Kickstarter price. I feel like this is, it is. It is what it is. It's an okay Kickstarter price. So do I want it? Yeah, kind of. I'm interested. Can you do it? Yes, I feel comfortable. This is your fourth project and you have, you've done that. Now that's the other thing. My grade right now is, is a little bit up in the air because I want to look at their track record because that's the one thing I don't feel like they spotlighted very well, which is the track record of their other games. Like who's the designer of this game? What have they done before? And that always makes me a little bit nervous because I feel like it's normally pretty easy to pull, you know, some sort of quote from a game that's been released. So, yeah, one of the top 1,000 family games of all time. You know, this right here, and I, that was me literally doing five seconds of research. Uh, and did they do this game as well? Is this the same designer? No, this is a different game. Okay, so this is Wild Serengeti. So, oh, my apologies. Let's check out this one. So this is Life of the Amazonia. Life of the Amazonia. Let's check this out. Jamie Bloom. So this is their first design. Okay. All right. So yeah, they couldn't really spotlight anything. 
Uh, but I still potentially on the Can You Do It might spotlight the fact that they've done other stuff, including one of the top 1,000 family games of all time. But other than that, I, I Can You Do It? Yes, I feel super comfortable about it. How much is it? I don't feel like it's a great price. I don't think it's, I feel like it's a terrible price. I feel like it's about a Kickstarter game found about average price. Their pledge area was, uh, it was, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't the best. Um, and back going through this, I feel like we really beat around the bush. We just blah, 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 before we get to the price, blah, blah, blah. Then we do get to the price, but it's like, it's just a teaser. It's like, hey, here's the price of the pledge level that we don't want you to take. And I said, yeah, this looks like a rock solid pledge of the, the pledge level that I don't want, that you don't want me to take. And then you show me this. And I'm like, great. And they're like, oh, there's a promo pack. And then I'm like, oh, that makes me even want that $65 version better. I surely thought there was going to be another pledge level that would have deluxified components. And then you have these add-ons. And then I say, wait, there's deluxified components? And I'm like, what the hell's going on? Do I, so do I have to get the base game and then buy the deluxified components as an add-on? That seems unusual. And I even said that. And then we get to this part. And then we're getting to the add-ons and the add-ons. And then we're going to finally the pledge level. So I feel like this really could be pushed way higher it seems odd uh because you want everyone taking this 129 dollars jaguar tier right now that is the most popular pledge level but it's by no means with a bullet 74 160 and 152 no it's actually in second place um which 30 bucks and it's yeah because you got the card six there anywho I'm going to go with a C plus, I think, on this one. I feel like it's a solid project. It has everything I want. I'm just not a big fan of the main image. I think that could definitely be, be spruced up. The videos, it could be better. Uh, I feel like it's rock solid. I just, I, I just, I, I feel like it could be, I feel a pledge area. There's just things that it's like, I don't know. They, they didn't, they could have been less clunky. I feel, I feel like it was a bit long. That's what it is. But let me know in the comments below what's your final grade for this one. I'm, and then the price. Yeah, the price is... But once again, I think this speaks to the fact that I didn't get a feel for how heavy this box is going to be. And that's one thing that I would mention here. Because now that I really think about it, and one thing I see as a very common tactic in the shipping section is mentioning the weight of the games. And with how much wooden components is going to be in the weight of these games... And then the other thing is here, oh, okay, yeah, so we're down, we're down to a C. One thing that I didn't notice here, which I absolutely hate, is the fact that you have three pledge levels, yet you only have one shipping section. Oh, no, so this is for everything. Never mind, it's Macaw, Jaguar, and Toucan, which means me, oh, that kind of sucks too, because now I'm like, oh, well, that, that seems odd, because I was imagining some of these are much heavier than the other ones. Anywho, anywho, um... Yeah, I'm going to go with the C+. I'm going to get the hell out of here with the C+. But let me know in the comments below what's your final grade for this one. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.